What's going on YouTubers? Good day, 775. I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to go ahead and do my review and comparison of the Sony MBR XBR 950BTs and the Audio Technica High Resolution Bluetooth on the ear headphones. I think it's the SR525 or something like that. I'll put the description in the <laughs> about section below. But it's been a couple weeks since I got these headphones. More than a couple weeks, I think. But um, I put these headphones through their paces and I compared them to my other headphones, okay? Uh, let's start off with the Audio Technica first. Okay, these Audio Technica headphones are a really great pair of headphones. Okay, they're on the ear, very bright sounding, very clear, very precise. Um, the mids and highs are really crisp. Um, the thing is, the bass here is not so much, okay? And if you're a bass head, you probably want to um, you probably want to stay away from these. But if you're into a good, clean sound, that's not too loud, okay? Volume-wise, yeah, it's not too loud. I don't have that much many other on-the-ear headphones I have to compare p compare these with. Except, say, my, my Beat Solo. Okay? Usually, on-the-ear headphones are not as loud as I'd like them to be. But Beats are the exception. These Beats Solo 2 wired headphones are pretty loud. Compared to this, this generic $20 headphones, these are uh, significantly better. These almost have... This one is just eh. <laughs> uh, this this $20 headphone is eh. But comparing the newbie now, this I did a review on these these headphones a while ago. And these I use for running now. They stay on my head and they don't fall off, which I'm surprised, okay? The new B9 wireless headset, and this is on the ear. Look at that. They have a very the similar size, okay? They swivel. They swivel the same. Now, this one's 130 bucks. This one's 40 bucks. And volume-wise, they're both the same, okay? They're both, they're both just as loud as each other. Mids and highs, of course, are better in this one. Um, this one, for a $40 pair of headphones, these are really great, okay? These, by far, are my favorite um, workout headphones. I use them to weight lift, and I use them to, what you call that, jog. They stay on my head. It's got a firm grasp. And the clamp, okay? This is fairly comfortable. I can listen to it for two to three hours without any, you know, ear fatigue. And... Unlike the, the Beats here, the Solo 2, they have a pretty um, strong clamp. Well, not strong. It, you, you don't notice it for the first hour. But after the first hour, second hour, you'll st really start to feel the clamp on your ears. This one's very comfortable. Okay? It, it doesn't really clamp on your ears. And I have fallen asleep twice with these headphones on. So that's how comfortable they are. So really great pair of headphones. Bass not there. Volume's not that high. But then again, for 130 bucks. <sighs> It's, I say it's barely worth that. Maybe, maybe a hundred bucks, it'd be perfect. Uh, I don't know. But you compare them to these, man, these are pretty close. These I would pay, I would pay like 60 to 80 bucks or something like these because these are awesome, okay? But this, 130 bucks, yeah, it's kind of pushing it. It's pushing it to the edge of the, that, you know, price per performance value, okay? Now... That's the Audio Technica um, uh, on the ear high resolution headphones. Now, high resolution, you need FLAC files or WMV files to get the most quality out of these Audio Technica headphones. Okay, the most benefit of sound and like the music profiles. You you know, I would like set my equalizer to flat. Okay, because these are really bright. I ain't too bright for my taste. So I set my equalizer to flat and that helped kind of even things out for me. Okay, sorry, I had to throw that in there. But now, the Sony XBR950BTs, okay, for the price I got these, okay, Black Friday, I got these for 88 bucks. And those are, that's a steal. Now, at some, it's gone up to retail value again, retail price at some places, it's going for $198. Do not pay $198 for these headphones. They're not worth that much now, okay, now. Um, if you find them for 150 bucks, I say they're worth that price because these are extremely good headphones. I love the bass. I love the extra bass feature down here. This bass boost. 
And again, when you turn that bass boost on, it can get a little heavy with the bass and the mids and highs become really recessed. That's just my opinion. Um, mids and highs are decent without the bass boost, okay? It provides a decent balance. The bass, the mids, and the highs, they're crisp. They're not bright, more on the flat side, and it doesn't get tingy. The Like these, okay, I forgot to mention, these other Technica headphones, you put them on high volume, they get kind of tingy and sharp, okay? These don't, okay? they At full volume, they don't get tingy, but the bass is the one. You feel like you're going to, oh, you're going to blow out your headphone speakers. <laughs> That's what it feels like it's going to do at full volume. So I don't I, I don't put this up to full volume. Probably put it to about 85, about 80, 90% at the, at the most. And I've got a ton of other Bluetooth headphones I've compared this to. I've compared these to my JLab Omnis, which are a great pair of headphones, by the way. Really good set of headphones. And of course, it's main competition about who's my number one favorite wireless over-the-ear headphones are... Let me get this out of here. The Bluteo Fate Series, uh, UFO Fate Series headphones, okay? These and these are pretty much tied in my list for favorite over-the-ear wireless headphones. These are really great. Um, the one advantage this has, it has 3D sound where you can switch it to 3D sound like when you have it connected to your... I have it connected to my Sam, um, paired with my Samsung TV and I watch my my Blu-ray DVDs on it and the sound is just wicked. It's awesome. You know, any type of, you know, what's the word? Television show or movie you're watching, the 3DS sound makes it pop. Now, if you want to listen to music with the 3DS sound, I, would, I wouldn't suggest that because it doesn't sound as great as um, listening to music without it. And these do fine with just regular MP3, WMB files, and it does wonderful with high-res files, okay? But these, on the other hand, price per performance, okay? Um, I bought this before Black Friday time, so I paid $129 for it. Now I see these going for about $99 on Amazon, and they are so totally worth more than that. Um, I believe these are worth $150, okay? That's how much I would have spent for this, you know, after listening to them and having them for, you know, mo or almost two months already. And, but these, on the other hand, $88 for these, okay? Price per performance value, this is number one. It beats the Blue Deal because I paid $88 for these, $130 for these. Even now, you go, like... Black Friday price is $88 and this current price is $90, $99. I would still go for these Sony XBR 950BTs. These are really great. I mean, the bass, the mids, the highs, they're balanced. When you put that bass boost on, it gives you that extra hit of bass and kind of makes the other things, other sound get a little recessed, but that's okay. I mean, I hardly use the bass boost, you know, now because I like my sound balanced, even though I'm more of a bass head. But yeah, these are really good. These are both very loud. They can get very loud, okay? And that's a big plus in my book. And as for comfort, okay? I would say the these Bluteos and these JLab Omnis are a little bit more comfortable than the Sony BT. That's probably its one con. Uh, and the second con is it didn't come with a snazzy carrying case like the Bluteo or the JLab Omnis. These came with themselves. I mean, they came in a plastic box, a uh, plastic holder. Um, you can see the cups there. It's it's uh, the shape is a circle, but the cups kind of form your ear. It's great, but when you lie down, okay, you can feel it kind of pushing up on your ears from the bottom because it doesn't really fit flush, just because of this circular design. But now these two, you can easily fall asleep with these on. Okay, you see how that egg shape. These are, this is the way how to make over-the-ear headphones, in my opinion. That egg shape contours to your ear, very comfortable. Then again, that's not saying that this is totally uncomfortable. You sit up and listen to this, these headphones. I could, I wore it for about two hours without, you know, without any cramping or whatnot. The clamp, the clamp is not too tight, not too tight. It doesn't clamp on your head. Um, but yeah, so in comfort, these two are better. But for price per performance, the Sony 
M X B R nine fifty BTs takes the cake. Okay. As for my number one favorite head uh, over the ear headphones, it would still be the Blue Dios because I value comfort. Okay, I know, I know, comfort over price per perform over price per performance value. This is the most one of the most comfortable pair of headphones, and I am looking at other Blue Dio headphones. I know I got some mentions of me to take a look at the Blue Dio Victory. I I want to pick those up and do a review for you folks, but I usually buy stuff on sale or when they're really cheap. So probably when those get a little cheaper, hey, I mean, I'm buying my own stuff. You know, it would be nice if they sent me some headphones to review. <coughs> Blue Dio, <coughs> send me an email. No. But yeah, that was, um, yeah, so I pay for everything pretty much. And I'll leave links below to all of these headphones down below. So that way you folks can check them out and see if you want to see, you know. What, what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's good thing 775. That was my review of and comparison of my Audio Technica um, high res on the ear headphone wireless on the ear headphones and my Sony XBR 950BT wireless headphones. Um, yeah, that was my video. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos every few days. If you didn't like this video, hit that dislike button, let me know in the comments down below. I do appreciate that criticism. This is Gdang775. Thanks for watching. Peace out.